Hi, I'm Britt. Welcome to Kettlebell Fit in 15. We're going to go through a warm-up, a workout, and a cool-down in 15 minutes or less. For our warm-up, we have two exercises, a pelvic tilt and a hinge. So you're going to join me first in a narrow square position, which means feet pressed together. Then I'm going to turn to the side so you can see. Go ahead and soften those knees. You can take your hands to your hips. We're going to do 10 pelvic tilts here. That simply means that we're isolating the motion of the pelvis, using the low back muscles to tilt back, and then using those low ab muscles to pull the pelvis under. This is a great core exercise, really great way to warm up your back and your abs for the workout. Think of really gentle, smooth movement here. So think 10 to 20% effort. You're not trying to strain here. Again, just gentle movement. We're just getting warmed up. Once we've gotten to 10, we're gonna step out into a neutral square. So that's gonna be feet about hip width apart. And you're gonna do a hip hinge here. So push your butt back, slide down, and back up, squeezing your glutes at the top. We're gonna to do 10 reps. That's two, think inhale down, exhale on the way up. Three, this is a great warm up for the tempo deadlifts that we're gonna be doing in our workout today. Five, as you slide down, think of pushing the feet slightly outward into the floor and that's gonna help you activate your glutes all the way through this movement. That's seven. Pushing those feet outwards, fire up those glutes and squeeze them at the top, eight. Nine, one more. 10. Good, we're gonna go into our workout. We have three sets of two different exercises and we're gonna start with a tempo deadlift. All that means is that we're gonna do a really slow tempo every rep. It's gonna be four counts down, four counts up. So you're simply gonna follow after me. Grab your kettlebell, find that neutral square position, feet about hip width apart. We're gonna do five reps. Here we go. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, two. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, three, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, four, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, five. Excellent job. We're gonna do an A turn next. So for this move, from the narrow square position, feet press flat, all we're gonna do is we're gonna swing the bell out in front of us and we're gonna switch hands. So we'll start with a three count here on the side and then we'll go into those A turns. There and back is one rep and we're gonna do 10. Here we go. One, two, three. Up and across is one. Two, count it out loud with me. Three, it makes it more fun, I promise. Four, make sure you're gripping the corners of the handles. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, good, bring your bell up. Okay, we have two rounds left, so we're returning to that tempo deadlift. So from the top, find your neutral square. Let's work those glutes and hamstrings. Here we go, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, four, three, 
two, two, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, three, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, four, last one, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, five, excellent. Grab your kettlebell for that A turn. So narrow position, three count, 10 reps. One, two, three, here we go. Bring it across. One, two, three, four. Count it out with me. I hope you're counting. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent job. We have one set to go on this last one. We're going to do 10 of our tempo deadlifts. Okay, so we're going to finish strong. Find that neutral square position. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, two. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, three, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, four, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, five. Keep going. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, six, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, seven, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, eight, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, nine. Last one. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, ten. Hopefully you're feeling those glutes burning after those 10 reps. Find your narrow square. On our A turn this time, we're going to finish it with 20. Okay, so last time we did 10, 20. So we're going to build up our endurance here. Let's go. One, two, three. Bring it up and across. One, two. Want to hear you counting them out? Three. Think of nice, steady breathing here. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, keep going, ten, we're going to twenty, eleven, twelve, hope you're still counting with me, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, bells down. We are done with our kettlebell and we're gonna finish off with a cool down. So we're gonna find our neutral square position. Again, feet about hip width apart, soft knees. We're gonna do some pelvic tilts here to finish. We did these in our warm up, but this is a great way 
to release your low back if you feel any stiffness from any of the exercises that we did. I want you to also take your hands to your booty and see if you can keep your booty relaxed while you do this exercise. If you notice you're squeezing your butt hard, you're not using your low abs as much as we would like. So go ahead and just see if you can relax the booty and instead really focus on using the abs to tuck under. Good. Once you get to about 10 reps there, we're gonna go ahead and do alternating straight leg stretch. So again, in your neutral square, all we're gonna do is you're gonna keep one leg straight and one leg bent. So you're going to reach down that straight leg, get a nice big stretch on the hamstrings and the glutes. You can let that other leg bend as much as you need. And take your time, no need to um, slide down really far, just go to the level that you feel just a little bit of a stretch, but no strain and no pain, so make it just a gentle stretch. Let's do one more. Good, and then we're going to switch to the other side, straightening the other leg. Take your time. If you'd like to go slower on this stretch than I'm going, feel free. It's less important that you do a certain number of reps. More important that you just take the time to feel your body after the workout, slow your heart rate, and relax into the stretch. Good. Last, we're going to finish with a standing nasal belly breath. So still in your neutral square position, we're just going to do some deep breathing in and out through the nose. As you inhale, think of inflating your belly. As you exhale, letting the belly collapse. So we're going to do five breaths here together. Go ahead and close your eyes and breathe. And go ahead and open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me today for Kettlebell Fit in 15. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.